Issues of identity are themes that I go back to again and again and again in my comic books and graphic novels. I think pretty much every single story I've ever told has dealt with some aspect of identity. When I was a kid, I always liked to draw and I always liked stories. I remember watching cartoons on television and realizing that somebody was telling me a story through drawing. As a little kid, I didn't know how to get my drawings on the TV, but these comic books, I knew how to do that. I knew how to do drawings on paper. So pretty soon after that, I started making my own comics. A huge part of my childhood after that was focused on comic. When I went to college, my dad gave me three different choices for what I could do with my future. He said I could be a doctor, a lawyer, or an engineer. So I chose to major in computer science. So I was a software developer for about two years. I realized I didn't like working in a cubicle. And then for about 17 years, I was in a classroom. I really loved being a high school teacher. But this side hobby that I had of making comics eventually picked up steam. I began spending more time on it. I began making more money at it. And then in 2015, I became a full-time cartoonist. American Mortenius is definitely fiction. You know, I've never met a, a monkey god in real life, but I did pull pretty heavily from my own life to create that book. I grew up in a community. Nowadays, that same community is predominantly Asian American. When my parents and I first moved into the neighborhood, there were so few Chinese families there that my mom actually went to the school asked for the addresses of the other two Chinese families. And on a Saturday, we went to visit them. That's how few of us were, were in that neighborhood at the time. And I think growing up like that, I did struggle with feelings of not fitting in. I struggled for a, a good chunk of my childhood with like wanting to get rid of the things about myself that made me different from my peers. And that, of course, included uh, being of Chinese heritage. It took me a long time, I think, to, to make peace with that. So it was such a huge part of becoming an adult for me that I end up telling stories about that over and over again. It was made into a TV show for Disney Plus. The show is very different from the book, but that really is by design. We were hoping that the show would capture the heart and the themes of the book, but express that heart and those themes in a different way. It's still a story about identity. It's still a story about finding belonging and about finding power. Are you the hero? What if I'm not, though? My process for creating a graphic novel has gotten more and more elaborate. I start by outlining a story, and I outline by putting post-it notes up on a wall and figuring out what the plot's gonna be. And I write a very quick summary. From that summary, I'll write a script. So depending on who I'm working for, like if I'm working for Marvel or DC, that script that I write looks like a screenplay. For other projects, I'll do what are called thumbnail sketches. If I'm not doing the art, then I'll take that script, whether it looks like a, a screenplay or whether it's a stack of thumbnail sketches, and I'll send that to the artist. Lunar Near Love Story is the very first rom-com graphic novel that I've ever worked on. And it's a collaboration. So I did the story, and the art is done by Lewin Pham, one of the most celebrated children's book illustrators in America. When my now wife and I were dating, at the time, she really hated Valentine's Day. She thought Valentine's Day was this huge scam that corporations had made up in order to sell us candy and, and cards. But I really wanted to celebrate Valentine's Day with her because I liked her. So my workaround was every time February came around, I would take her out to Lunar New Year dinner and I would buy her Lunar New Year presents because even though these two holidays are on two separate calendars, you know, one is on the Western calendar, one is on the Eastern calendar, they're almost always right next to each other. And it worked. So my, my wife, even though she hated Valentine's Day, she would always be willing to come out with me to Lunar New Year dinner. So since then, those two holidays have just been connected for me. Like Lunar Near has had this romantic sheen to it. And I've always wanted to do a story about that, you know, about Lunar Near, but about a romantic version of Lunar Near. I'm interested in how characters find belonging, how they find their community. I'm interested in how characters figure out where their power comes from. I'm interested in characters putting those two things together to create an identity for themselves. I look at my own relationship with my cultural heritage, with being a Chinese American, and I went from not being aware of it at all to being maybe embarrassed or ashamed of it to wanting to get rid of it. 
to a place of acceptance and eventually to a place of pride. I'm very proud to be a Chinese American now. My hope is that at least through some of my stories, I'll take the reader through that same journey.